what's up guys today we're going to be doing this water splash transition and this was actually inspired by Alex Melis I'll leave the link to his channel down below so this is the video clip that I'm going to be working with so the first step is to find the point that you want to zoom into. I'm going to use this part right here. I wanna basically zoom into this little drop of water here uh, to reveal the next shot. So what I'm gonna do is select my video clip at that point and create a speed ramp. So I'm gonna press Shift and B, and then I'm actually gonna slow this portion down to uh, 3%. And then I'm gonna turn on optical flow. So down to video quality, optical flow, make sure that's ticked. And the video will slow down, it might come to a stop. If it does come to a stop, then you just want to cut the video to that point. So it should look something like that. And it's gonna work way better with a slow motion video clip uh, shot in a high frame rate. It's just a lot easier to create the transition. Okay, so the next step is to go over here to the effects tab and go to masks add the draw mask effect and then we're just going to draw a small circle on the inside of this droplet let's zoom into this so that we can get a nice outline of it on the inside just like that and then you want to go up here and click invert mask and turn the feather right up to around like 50 to 60 percent and then what we're going to do is go to transform and just open that up and click the keyframe on position, rotation, scale, and then control points. And we're just gonna skip forward and back through the frames and just track this mask to the water drop. And you want to track this mask at least a couple of seconds back towards the beginning of the shot. It's just gonna give you a lot more uh, to work with. So let's start skipping through these frames. And you also want to change the scale as you go back uh, just to make sure the mask is on the inside of the water drop. So if I zoom out now, uh, you should have something that looks like this with the mask tracked. And it's just going to be like a black hole for now. So I'm gonna to go to the start of where this mask is tracked and I'm gonna go up to the opacity. I'm gonna turn that all the way down, down to zero and click the keyframe button. And then I'm going to go about three quarters of the way to the end of the shot and turn this up to around like 80%. And then I'm gonna to go to the end and turn it right up to around like 98%. And you can come back and change this um, later on. So it doesn't matter too much right now because we obviously can't see the video clip underneath. So we don't know how well it's going to look. Now that that is done, what we're gonna do is right click and turn this into a compound clip. And you can name this um, mask layer, just so you know that this is the one that has the uh, mask on it, if you need to change it in the future. Okay, so that's done. Next step is to watch it back and kind of choose a point where you want the video to start zooming in. So. Almost in the middle is a good time to start zooming into this uh, water drop for the transition. I'm just gonna select B and just split this clip in half. And then on this second part, what I'm gonna do is select it and go to crop, click Ken Burns, and then I'm gonna go to the end. So the last frame, and then I'm gonna make this end box really small and place it inside the mask inside the water drop so now we should have something that looks like this from the start cool so what i'm going to do now is select both of these and turn them into a compound clip you can call it zoom in if you want cool so now what we're going to do is add another speed ramp around the same point that it starts zooming in so select where it starts zooming in, hold shift and press B. And then we're just gonna speed this up and this will be how quick it zooms into the uh, water drop. And you can choose how fast or slow you want to zoom in just by changing uh, the speed on this. 
And now you want to bring in the video clip that you want to transition into. So I'm gonna import this uh, hyperlapse that I have, and I'm just gonna drag this underneath my video clip. So now you can see the effect is starting to come together. The, it zooms in and reveals the next shot. So it's starting to look pretty cool, but there's a few things that we can do to make it look a bit better. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a sort of like a wavy effect on this hyperlapse. And we could use the underwater effect in Final Cut Pro. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is actually just use a transition from this liquefied transition pack. I'll leave the link to a free download of one of these down below. And I'm just gonna add this onto the beginning of the video clip. And then you can just sort of position the transition so that it links up nicely. So now we have that like ripple effect added on, which is a nice little touch. Uh, what you can also do is turn this into a compound clip uh, by selecting the transition and the video clip. New compound clip, click OK. And then what I'm actually gonna do is scale this video clip uh, so that it starts off a lot smaller and sort of like zooms in with the water drop. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is kind of start at the end, select my video clip, go to the transform tool, uh, hit the keyframe button, and then go backwards, make it a lot smaller and place it within the water drop in the middle. So now as, as it comes on, you can see the image sort of scales up with the water drop. Okay, cool. And the last step is just to add some motion blur to smooth all of this out. A motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll link the free plugin download below if you don't have it. So I'm gonna go up to my titles, go to motion blur, and I'm just gonna drag a moderate motion blur free over the middle of this transition right here. And if I turn this motion blur on and off, uh, you can see how it kind of just meshes everything together and makes it look a lot smoother. Let's render that out quickly and then we can see what it looks like. Okay, cool. And here is the finished product of that quick little edit. After a bit of color grading and a few more tweaks, uh, I think this could look, this one could look really good. I'll play out the one that I made previously uh, to finish off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.